Greetings my fellow Fright Fiends and thanks so much for dropping by the Horror Zone. I hope everyone's doing well. Another video where I'm speaking about uh, what I feel are underrated uh, horror movie gems. Things that I think people should check out this Halloween season when there's not a lot of new uh, films being released. This film is going back, going back to a film that I watched as a teenager. I believe I saw it when I was about 12 or 13 for the first time. I had wanted to see it uh, many years before that when it initially was released on cable but it was rated R and my mom didn't want me to watch it. Uh, the film I'm talking about is Amityville 2 The Possession. I've talked about this film before uh, but very infrequently. I've never done a review of it. I never got the and I never got the Scream Factory box set of the Amityville films which really makes me mad because I, I, I love this film so much and I really wish I could have gotten that. I know there was like some really cool interviews, especially with Diane Franklin, played Patricia Montelli uh, in the film, and I actually met her and she signed this for me. It says, To Ben, uh, Diane Franklin, Patricia Montelli right there. Yeah, so I met her five, about five years ago. And uh, yeah, she was an amazing person. It was a ter terrific honor. She was one of my crushes growing up and she's absolutely stunning. I just think she gets uh, prettier as she gets older. She's a beautiful woman, had a huge crush on her and that was one of the major drawing points for watching this film because I had already seen Better Off Dead. Uh, this is the film I've always preferred in the Amityville franchise. It's my favorite, it always has been. Uh, it caused a lot of controversy when it came out and uh, it was a fictionalized version of the DeFeo murders that actually took place at the real Amityville house. Before the residents of 112 Ocean Avenue became infamous in the Amityville horror, its supernatural legacy of terror had already begun. Inspired by a true story, this chilling prequel is a blood-curdling special effects laden encounter with all-powerful, all-consuming evil. Though the Montellis are not exactly the perfect family, at least they found the perfect home, and even though a liquid that looks like blood gushes from the kitchen faucet and every window has been nailed shut. It still qualifies as their dream house until all hell breaks loose. A local priest tries to rid the house of unclean spirits, but what he doesn't yet suspect is the teenage son Sonny Montelli has been possessed body and soul by a murderous demon bent on total destruction. You have James Olson that plays Father Adamski, Burt Young as Anthony Montelli, Tanya. Alda as Dolores Montelli, Jack Magner as Sonny Montelli, Diane Franklin as Patricia Montelli. The movie is based on a book called Murder in Amityville by Hans Holzer. Screenplay was done by Tommy Lee Wallace and the movie was directed by Damiano Damiani. So this film is deeply disturbing, uh, not only because of the events that uh, surround uh, the main protagonist being Sonny becoming a and in the process killing his entire family. But there's also an incestuous relationship between, between him and his sister Patricia, played by Diane Franklin. Uh, on top of that, you also have a very uh, brutal uh, father, played by Burt Young. Uh, there's this, this air of domestic violence amongst the family that is very disturbing to watch and it's unlike any film that I had seen as a, as a young boy. Uh, the possession scenes uh, are very disturbing. Uh, there's one scene where Sonny is stalked by an unseen presence in the house which I think is really really well done and uh, how he gets possessed. Terrifying. There's just a little really small touches in here about him starting to hear voices and see things. Uh, how he changes towards his family. There's little subtle things where you can see that the house is playing an effect on the individual family members' personalities, uh, especially with the father, Burt Young, who is already kind of, you know, he, he already has that uh, abusive kind of uh, overbearing uh, personality, but it just gets worse and is magnetized by the house. Again, this is fictionalizing real events, but uh, I think it's done really well. And out of the Amityville uh, franchise films that I've seen, I didn't see all the ones where it was like, they were spin-offs, where it was like an artifact from the house. Uh, but uh, from the ones I've seen, this has always been my favorite. I think it retains its uh, disturbing and uh, terrifying quality. It also has terrific performances. I think it's the strongest in the entire franchise, even the remake, which I was a fan of, but I prefer this one over all of them. I think this is a, a truly hidden gem. It, it, it's way better than the Amityville Horror with Margot Kidder and, and James Brolin, which I've never been a huge fan of. I actually prefer the remake over that one. Um, if I had to give this one a rating on my scale, I would give Amityville to the Possession five skulls. So that is my review of Amityville 2, The Possession. 
I think people should give it a watch this Halloween season. Like I said, I'm just uh, talking about some films here that I think don't get enough praise, don't get enough, uh, you know, ones that go pretty much unmentioned in horror social media groups and things like that. So just trying to talk about some horror films that I really enjoy and I think others would too. And if you guys are fans of Amityville 2 The Possession, uh, please leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from everyone. And thank you so much again for dropping by the Horror Zone. And I promise I'll talk to you again later. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Thank everyone for taking this time to drop by the horror zone. It really means a lot to me that people are supporting what I do here. If you like this video, um, please uh, hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, I upload videos at least once or twice a week. It would really mean a lot if people would spread the word about this channel. Um, I This is a passion of mine. I love the horror genre and uh, I'm really happy to share uh, my love of it with all of you. So thanks so much again for checking it out. I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.